All right, sorry guys, we're back. Um, PC fucking master race right there, boys. Holy shit! Literally started streaming, and I had to like, it it like jumped, like it was working perfectly fine, and then it jumped fucking primary, primary fucking. Okay, let's get to where we were here. It jumped primary monitors to my other monitor for no reason, and then for zero reason at all, I could not right click and then click, you know, you know the the display managing fucking application. Uh, it would not open. But we're good. We're here now. But now you guys are fully aware as to why I don't play anything on PC, because this is like normal shit for me. Um, I think our ship is good. Let's just make sure everything's repaired. Um, so how do I open? There's so many like little little things here. Um, is E just engineering? Oh, that's that's emergency. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's not what we want. Um. Well, let's just manually do these. Okay. Okay, did I do phasers? Let's do shields, make sure shields are all fixed up. I can't believe we won that fight. I do apologize for just the whole stream being fucked for, for a little bit there and being incredibly late. Hopefully all the kinks are worked out. Uh, and this is the only stream that has to go to shit. All right. Um, let's talk to her. Uh, okay, we gotta go to the Pollock system. So here is where, like, quite literally, you cannot play the game without the manual, and that is why I had to open the manual because this is in order to uh, in order to do like uh, what, what would you call it like anti piracy back then. Um, this is the navigation map, and you need the manual to know what any of these are. So you actually can't play the game without the manual. Um, so we gotta go to the Pollock system, which is 19, which is this one, I believe. All right. It's just, oh man, it's just so frustrating, dude. I had like a new guy follow, a new guy subscribe, and then the whole stream went to shit immediately. So, I mean, so much for that, right? Um, Let's go to orbit. Let me know if, uh, if I should turn the game audio up, because when I'm playing on PC, I can't have the PC sounds go directly into the Elgato. So what I, I just have them coming out of my speakers. So if it's a little quiet, I can just turn my speakers up. So just let me know. Um, let's see if we should hail. Okay, so let's save. So this game is very unforgiving, so you do need to make sure you do need to make sure to save at the beginning of each stage and stuff like that. All right. This is so much better, gentle folk. We are honored at your presence and hope you will find peace here in our haven. So let's talk to this guy. Alright, these are my choices. Seed word. Just be an asshole. Oh, 
for our God's method to help us discover what is going on. Aside from seeing demons, has any hard data been collected, any evidence I could see? A skeptic would consider everything merely anecdotal or unproven. My people would gladly tell you their own stories, so you need not hear it secondhand, fool. What can you tell me about the mine itself? You're wasting the time of a star. <laughs> Just an asshole. The area is exceptionally stable tectonically. It's easy for our machinery to work in for stuff. We've mined for hefkin and a variety of useful trace elements. The deeper we dig, however, the more anomalous the variety of minerals seems to be. Holy fuck, he's just going on forever here. May you receive the guidance and protection of our God as you complete this divine mission. All right. All right, uh, let's go here. I have beaten this mission and I believe the next one. You'll understand if I don't stand up, I hope. I am not well. Um. He is too busy consoling the wounded man. This man is in no condition. He is too busy consoling. I am worried about Brother Chubb. Brother Chubb. Ah, uh, yes. Let's get, uh... Jim, this man has suffered severe physical injuries to his head and arm. The wounds have been adequately cared for. However, he has developed a new Garyan infection. If not treated swiftly, the effects can be fatal. The infection can normally be treated with typhoiditoxin, but there's none on the Enterprise. I may be of some assistance. The Laraxian berry grows near the mouth of the cave. If I could acquire it, I would be able to... Okay, so let's go get that. Cave is this way. And, oh right, this is where shit goes down. Got him. You see a small explosion, and the Klingon's hand falls to the ground with a dull thud. I guess they don't make Klingons like they used to, sir. Yeah, so these parts, so during the battle uh, segments here, like the away missions, you essentially have four lives. Oh. Um, so you basically have like three th or four lives or like hit points almost when you're in these, uh, away missions. So, and the way they do it is by how many characters you have. So your first life is of course the red shirt. So if I wouldn't have pulled my phaser out and started lighting those guys up right away, um, the Klingons would have started shooting us starting with the red shirt. Um, and then I think they shoot sp either Spock or McCoy and then... After those two, they go for Kirk, and if Kirk dies, you get game over. Um, as long as Kirk's alive, you can usually revive Spock and McCoy, but usually the red shirts, once he's once he's done, he's done. Um, so you notice his hand fell off. You take the Klingon's detached hand. Um, I've never done this before. Let's scan them with the tricorder. Uh, Alright, let's head... Uh, oh wait, we gotta go in a little further so we can get those berries. There's the berries. Okay, let's go back to town. Make the, uh, the concoction to heal up that guy. Um, I think we gotta go in here. Or no, we, I think we have to give them to him first. Oh, he's in here. Okay. Um. The settings on the Ardak floor have already been adjusted. They'll simply place the berry in the machine, and the hypoditoxin will be synthesized. Okay, is this the machine? Yep, must be. The machine synthesizes a quantity of 
that taxi. We've got to get this to Brother Chubb as quickly as Brother we Chubb. Best Star Trek character of all time. All right. Uh, oh yeah, we might as well do this stuff while we're uh, while we're here. The glass case is locked. The glass. Case Oops. A glass front display of mineral specimens, including. Um. I never dreamed that Starfleet would be interested in my discovery. Oh right, let's uh, show them the hand. We are oh shit, high. I don't even have my Jason, uh, Doug, my weed over here. Be right back. Stop. Doug, we're too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high, he's high. I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. We're too high, Doug. We can't help. How's it going Doug, tonight? Awkward? Too high. What do you want from us? We're too high to help we're you. We're stoned. Doug, we're... Doug, we're too high. Okay. But Spock, see what you can do about that hand. This machinery is delicate, but I have managed to mm. repair the circuitry. So I'm doing this a little bit out of order. Uh, there's something you're supposed to do before you do that to make you have to do that. There is, we do need to get in this case though. I don't remember how to do that. Um, what if we go... You are interested in my little ah, here we go. Looks like a pile of junk if you ask me. Yes, tell us about these things. <laughs> Where did you find all this? Yes, tell us about these things. I enjoy talking about these treasures. Shall I go into mineral specimens, meteor rock, fossil shell, skull of a small anus, skull of a modern salad? Shall I go into mineral specimens, true curiosities? Now, shall I go into mineral meteor rock? I believe this is evidence of the cataclysm which destroyed the moon of Pollux Spy. Okay, most of this is bullshit, but I do need to get. I do need to get. There's like a piece of metal. Ah, uh, here we go. Now we can get into it. Take what you like, but please remember to return my treasures when you're done with them. Okay. Um. So I don't know if we look at it first. Um. There we go. Here we go. So we need. I like to get the skull. I think I get bonus points for that, and then I do need this later on. Okay, let's save. Actually, hold on. I'll save in a different spot so I can, I can show you about my, uh, what I said about the, uh, the red shirt dying. But I, I'll, I'm gonna save before I let him die. Cause you do get like commendation points based on how you. Hey, Drupal, how's it going, dude? You do get commendation points based on how how well you do. Um. Give that to him. Thank you. You're most kind. All right. I headed up the party that sought to rescue Brother Cangre. Without warning, the dudes are fucking ripped. <laughs> yeah, they are. Can you tell us what they look like? Is the audio loud enough, Finny? Like you can hear them talking and shit. Audio is pretty quiet. Okay, thanks. To face my fears. Indeed, I found them. A bellowing cry 
Rognik demon with sharp teeth and a long snout descended upon me in a rush of wind. Captain, a Krognik demon has a decidedly wolfish appearance. Brother Grisnash, is this not the traditional shape of the evil one and his minions among Talarots? It is. I believe this may be significant, Captain. It is significant. Okay, perfect. All right, so I want to see. I want to see if you guys can guess. So we went to the. We went to the uh, towards the cave, and we saw Klingons. Um, we blew up. Uh, we killed the Klingons. One of them's hands fell off. Turned out it was like a, like a, like a what the hell would you call it? Like an android type type thing. Its hand. Um, when the uh, the hu the person from Earth went towards the cave, uh, he saw like a werewolf looking thing, and when the Tellerite went to the cave, he saw like a demon from Tellerite mythos. So keep that in mind as we uh, continue. We are hell too yeah, high. brother. Seriously, Doug, we're too high. Stop, Doug. We're too high. Doug, we're too high. I'm high. He's high. I'm we can't so high. help. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. We're too high, Doug. We can't help, Doug. We are too high. What do you want from us? Dude, we're this no new bottle is so much better than the last one. Doug, we're Doug. We're too high. All right. Let's go into the cave. Um, I think we have to scan it with the tricorder. Captain, there are several weak points in the cave-in's structure. Careful use of our phasers from the top down should be able to clear it. Okay, so I'm gonna save here. I'll show you what I did the first time. So before, I went like this. Oh, hold on. First time, I went like this. Assume firing position. <laughs> and then that happens. <laughs> but if you want full points, if you want full points, you don't want to do that. So you learn your lesson right away, and you you want to go for this one. Get that the fuck out of there. Save a red shirt. All right. Take the take the time. There is no apparent effect. Take the time and save a red shirt. <laughs> oh, he is out. Okay. Medical tricorder. This man is badly hurt, suffering from shock and exposure as well. Oh, he I think he's like he's like dead for real. Jim, the next time you need medical help on a snowball, boats. I'll probably end up coming along. <laughs> okay, uh, so if we go like this. This looks like some of the hand security panels on the Enterprise. And then it's like, oh, uh, no, I got it. I got both yours and uh, I think. Oh, no, yours, yours did get uh, bumped. Okay, I don't know why. I wonder if I have a cooldown. Hold on, let me see if I have a. Hmm, if I have a. Oh, I, I think there is a bit of a cooldown. I don't know how to turn that off on the Orn board. I can turn off the uh, sound effect one, but I can't turn off the animation. We are too high. Seriously, Doug, we're too high. Oh, there we go. It's just Stop. like, oh, you went twice. I'll just do a double. Uh, I'll do we're a double too here. High. I'm high. He's high. I'm so high. Sorry about Damn that. It, Doug, we said we're high. We're too high, Doug. We can't yep, that one happened. Help, Doug, we are too high. What do you want from us? I think there's like a one minute cooldown. Stone, Doug. We're okay. Doug, we're so let's use the uh, tricorder on the door. This door is made of an unknown material. It is clearly built by an alien race we have no knowledge of. All right, so let's take the hand and use it there. So the first, 
the way you're supposed to do this. The way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to try the hand, and then it says the hand doesn't work. But it's because the hand is broke. Like, it's not, it's like damaged. Um, so we had to, so you have to go back and repair it. But I've already beaten this, so I, I knew that uh, we had to repair the hand. So I just repaired the hand when we were back. Many alien machines fill the room. Many alien machines. It looks like a control panel with slide switches. With slide switches. Okay, let's use this. You fail to obtain anything. Oh, sorry. Use this. I have no idea how you're supposed to know this. Um, by the way. Um... I just know you gotta go like, you have to have them all at one, I think, or something like that. From what I remember, I think that's it. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea how you're supposed to find that out. Thank you for repairing our Somnambutron. Stop. You're trespassing on Federation territory. I welcome you on behalf of the United Federation of Planets. Who are you? Where you come from? We did fix your machine. Can we write the repair bill off against rent on this land? <laughs> Fuck. Stop. Which op which option should I do? <laughs> I welcome you on behalf of the United Federation of Uh just water. Where you come from? Just water, brother. Which option should I do? Stop. You're trespassing on Federation territory. Uh the at uh, the asshole option. Number one. I welcome you on behalf number two, of the where you welcome him. Or number three, where we fix his machine. And uh, write the bill off on rent against rent on this land. <laughs> what are you drinking, Drubal? You drinking anything tonight? Asshole, but confident for sure. Okay. Stop. You're trespassing on Federation territory. Violence is hardly necessary, Captain Kirk. <laughs> we owe you a debt for your service to us, and are more than willing to peacefully coexist with your kind. We call ourselves Nowians. Thousands of years ago, we saw that meteor impacts were going to cause an ice age. We created this huge underground shelter to preserve our race. Keeping us in suspended animation until the planet had recovered. We programmed the machinery to revive us at the next eclipse, but we did not count on the destruction. Oh. Some advanced civilization. Perhaps you can tell us about the demons. Some advanced yeah, civilization. Yeah, yeah, let's go to the Perhaps demons. Tell us about the, the demons, as you call them, are created by a machine designed to keep intruders away from our sleep chambers. It pulls from the minds of any approaching creature their most feared enemy and produces replicas to scare them away. For you and your crew, it was Klingons. For the Tannerites, a wolf demon. And for the other humans, a demon from their religion. See? On behalf of my people, thank you. So drunk. <laughs> I will turn off the machinery which creates our guardians so that they no longer bedevil those with whom we now share our home. Oh, whoa! Alas! The key is missing. I can do nothing. Even we will suffer the attacks of our own guardians unless the key can be found. I implore you, if you can help, please do so. Okay. So, yeah, basically the reason everybody's... ...we picked up from Brother Stephen. Now look at this alien. See the resemblance? So basically all the, uh... All the, uh demons everyone was seeing and the reason that they were from like their own mythologies and stuff is because that's basically their their guardian system their security system they created to protect their little base here basically just builds androids uh it like scans the minds of the thing the people that are approaching the cave fear most and then uh builds androids of those and then uh and then basically like sends them out to protect them from uh, disrupting this guy's thing. Uh, I'm going to show him the skull first. A child? No, I've seen many differences. This must be what our people who did not slumber have become. 
Still, I would like to see these remains properly interred according to the precepts of our religion. May I keep this? Of course. I think you will get along well with the Pollux inhabitants. And I'm sure you will have interesting theological dis I think I should return it to her. <laughs> no, I want to keep it as a memento for myself. Just an asshole. Of course. No, I'm going to give it to you. Well with the Pollux and, and then, yeah, so this is where I'd be like, normally you're like, oh, where is the key? Or what should we get for the key? But this twisted piece of metal here is the key for the uh, device. There we go. You found the key. I can now turn off the machine recreating our guardians and no more Got spiced rum for your eggnog. Might have gone a bit heavy handed. I'm like one of those guys that likes only like one glass of eggnog per year. I will be glad to accept your application to the Federation. We shall have a diplomatic envoy sent to make the final arrangements. We look forward to meeting them. We also look forward to having discourse with the colonists. Farewell. May the Holy One bless you. Live long and prosper. All right. Kirk to Enterprise. Beam us up, Mr. Scott. Okay, we gotta save quick, though, because there's a fucking ship fight right away. <laughs> On screen with him. We have read your report on the problems at Pollux 5 and evaluate your performance at 91%. Nice! You and your crew received three commendation points. The top brass at Starfleet are impressed. Outstanding work, Jim. Yeah, I might have known there weren't any demons. We all have demons of our own, Bones. The ones we can't confront are often the hardest to deal with. These demons were based on fear, Captain. A human failing. I don't know, Spock. Everything that I've ever read about demons describes them as having 20 ears. <laughs> they do such a good job of, like, emulating the series, like, spot on in this game. All right, next episode. I'm trying to... I'm trying to save here. Here we go. Save new game replaced... There we go. The USS Enterprise is to report immediately to Beta Miamid. The USS Masada has failed to report as scheduled. Determine nature of delay and take whatever measures are necessary. Set course for Beta Miamid, sir. Okay, we'll save here. Because there is a fight. Save new game. Replace previous. Okay, five. Um, tab. So, we gotta go to navigation. Where are we going? Beta. Uh, number 15. So, right there. Oh, here we go. Raising shields. Arming weapons. Message coming in, sir. On screen, Lieutenant. Leave the Beta Miami system immediately. You're interfering in Elasi affairs. We are conducting a search and rescue mission for the USS Masada. It was last reported in this system. We cannot leave until we can confirm its location and condition. So be it. You have been warned. Prepare to die. Oh, you die. Where is he? There he is. Fuck, we still missed them. Oh, how did that miss, dude? There we go. Fuck. He's lighting us up.
Just light me up. Fuck, go! Okay, good, we got him. Oh, he's gone, okay. Oh, no. Okay, I think he's gone now. Um, okay, weapons offline. Alright. Center. There we go. Repair our shields. I don't think anything else was damaged. Spiced rum. I don't think I've ever had spiced rum in eggnog. No, just white rum. Wow, our shields must be fucked if he's taking that long to fix them. Oh yeah, let's save because we did beat him. Okay, sweet. Um. So sensors, you only usually need to repair if there's like, if the screen gets all staticky and shit. It's the hull. Uh, what was this? Oh, the bridge. Okay. Man, he's taking forever to repair that hull or the uh, the shields. I suggest we orbit the planet for a closer scan, sir. Okay, let's orbit the planet. Right, this part. There she is, Captain. She does not appear to be seriously damaged. Her shields are up, and twenty-seven life forms are aboard. Hailing the ship, Captain. Greetings, Federation Imperialists. I am Elasi Seraph, and I have claimed this ship as a blow for freedom against Federation tyranny. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. You are illegally in possession of Starfleet property. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Listen, Elasi. Hand over the ship and hostages now, or things are going to get very nasty. This is Captain James T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. Mr. Elasi, this is Captain James yeah. T. Kirk of the USS Enterprise. The infamous Captain Kirk. The Masada is mine. You will release 25 political prisoners I specify, or I will destroy the ship and its crew. The list of those wrongfully imprisoned should be coming over to you now. Data file captured, Captain. Computer indicates they were all convicted of piracy with various counts of murder and mayhem thrown in. Freeing the prisoners you requested will take time. We have to track down their current locations, and Starfleet will have to grant permission to move them here. I will get that started. You should tender a show of good faith on your part. Will you beam over so we can discuss negotiations face to face? We can work together on this, Elasi. How about beaming some of the hostages over? Freeing the prisoners you requested will take time. Hmm. I don't know which one I should go with for this. And Starfleet will have to grant permission to move them here. I will get that started. Yeah, let's do this to buy time. Lower my shield so you can beam over a war party. I'm not stupid, Captain. We'll play by my rules. So long as the shields are up, Captain, our hands are tied. The Enterprise can overpower the Masada and Taker, but the pirates would have all the time they need to kill every one of the hostages. Will you send over data on the whereabouts and conditions of my falsely accused clansmen languishing in your dungeons, Captain? Very well, we'll do it your way. I will put together the data packet. Your fellow Alassi have been tried in Federation courts of law and found guilty of their crimes. We'll listen to your complaints if you discuss them reasonably. Forget it, Alassi is sorry. You'll be the next one languishing on a Federation penal planet. Very well, we'll do it your way. I'll do this. And then... Captain, we could use the command prefix code to lower the Masada's shield briefly. Long enough for one transporter burst. Okay, so I think we have to use this computer and search the Masada to bring up... There we go, the override code. So, 293391. Currently under the command of Captain Kevin Q. 
one nine seven seven three six three eight two nine three one one nine seven seven three six three eight two nine okay so how do I do that now send the prefix code here we go so it is two nine three three nine one dash one nine seven seven three six dash three eight two nine all right, let's get the fuck in there. So basically, these guys took a Federation ship over and they're holding a bunch of people, a bunch of officers and stuff hostage. Let's scan him with the medical tricorder. Look at them cheeks. He's not hurt badly, I can revive him. Well then do it, bud. Hey, Vile Lord, thanks for the sub, dude. Welcome back. How's it going, dude? Welcome to the patty. See you at the party, Richter. Did you just catch it, like, immediately, first try? Or did it despawn as, as soon as you jumped? You don't have anything to say about it. Um, isn't there like shit in here that we need? There we go. Uh, let's talk to Spock. When this operation is complete, Captain, we should have Mr. Scott or Transporter Chief Kyle come here to assist with the repairs. Let's not look too far ahead, Mr. Spock. See what he says. Well, Jim, there's one thing I can tell you. I don't like Colossi. I can't see them winning any popularity contests, Bones. They can forget about my vote. This is just like their raid on Damocles Station. Hard, fast, and dirty. Just like how I love my women. All right, um... There we go. Okay, um, let's take a look at this. This is all fucked up. A small bomb appears to have damaged the transporter controls. Long day at work, laundry and dishes afterwards. Yeah, that sucks, man. You have like a long day at work and then you get home and you just got more work kind of thing. Um, let's see. Can Spock fix this? have been virtually destroyed, Captain. Can they be repaired, Spock? With Chief Engineer Scott's assistance, I believe we could get them in perfect working order in two days. Spock, we don't have two days. If we can repair the transporter, we might be able to transport onto the bridge and capture the Alasi. I can attempt to jury rig repairs if I can find parts. However, there is only a 67.357% probability of success. I've always been a gambler, Spock. Figure out what you need. Okay, um, I don't think I can grab this, right? No. Can I grab anything from here? I grab this. Oh, wait, hold on. You failed to obtain okay. any... These doors have been scarred by phaser fire. There was a battle here. Okay, let's go to the next area. Every day, damn kids. <laughs> Man, sparring was sparring was rough skis last night. I took a I took a hard teep to the, the like the sternum, 
It's like all bruised. Knocked the wind out of me. A tangle of mangled equipment reduced to junk. There are the remains of five phasers without power packs. A drained phaser welder and scraps of wire and uncertain bits of metal junk. Okay. Can I grab anything from here? No. You fail to obtain any. This view screen communication terminal has been damaged beyond repair. Okay. So what do we have here? We got these wires. A med kit. Okay, I know shit goes down once we enter this next room, so let's save. save. Replace. All right. Let's go. Um, must be having sympathy pains. Woke up with a sore chest and back. Oh, I got I got kicked in the back last night too, which is kind of not legal, but. Hey, what are you doing here? Eat shit. <laughs> I think the reason I got ninety one percent last time, uh, was because I killed the guys instead of stunning them. But I mean, I'll I'll kill I'll kill over stunning. All day long, brother. There's a bomb here. A bomb located just inside the force field. These wires look like a modification of some sort. I can't remember what the hell we do. You are in the brig of the Masada. Nine of the crew members are held in the cell. The berets of two dead Alasi guards litter the floor. Okay. Only the red beret of the Alasi guard remains. Okay, this is the part I don't remember. Do we just like grab these wires? I don't want to set the bomb off because then it kills everybody that's captured. You've set off some type of booby trap. <laughs> protected you from the blast, but everyone inside the brig is dead. Oh, uh, okay. Let's save here. Okay, what do I... Do I use, like, the wires? I think I use the wires on it or something. Nothing happens. <laughs> nope, that's not what I do. Um... Do I get, like, Spock to use the wires, maybe? Or is that what I did last time and it blew everything up? Okay. <laughs> I just have to get Spock to do it, instead of doing it myself. Okay, so the bomb's good, right? So I can set them free and they won't get blown up. Oh god, I thought it was gonna blow up again. Thank you for freeing us, Captain. We secure the area so they don't come up behind you. We've had electrical problems with our door to our bridge, Captain. The Alassi don't know we put an electric shutdown device. You'd never find it by chance. But if you used a charged phaser welder two feet to the left of the door and one foot off the ground, you might be able to shut down the force field and get a jump on the Alassi. Oh, I've never beaten it that way. Um, hold on. Can I take this bomb? All right, let's get that out of there. Um. You are in the brig of the mis Oh, okay. I've never beaten it that way. Shatner, yeah. Yeah, we couldn't get... Kirk couldn't do it. He's a captain, not a not a science guy. Um, I've never went through the door. I always go through the transporter. This is how I usually do it. Come on. Now, let, I don't want to fuck this up. And I definitely can fuck this up. Um... Uh, how do we do this? We have to like use some items together like this. How do we do that, man? 
Because we have to turn it, turn one of these phasers into like a welder or some shit. I'm pretty sure it's this. Hold on, what is this? The fuck is this? The runs make transmogrifier. This device was invented by an engineer with a sense of humor about names. With the proper attachments, engineers use it for temporary fixes on pieces. Okay, what is this? A phaser welder. It is without power. Yeah, we gotta use the. Okay. I thought we'd just do this on this. But maybe not. There we go. Okay. Um, so now... What is this? Some scraps of metal found in the corridors of the... So I think we want to weld that to that. I think that does it. I'm there we go. There we go, okay. So let's use Spock on the controls. The controls have been virtual. Can they be repaired, Spock? With Chief Engineer Scott's Spock, we don't have to. I can attempt to... I've always been a gambler, Spock. Bro, use the fucking trans fuckrifier. The parts fit together satisfactorily. Oh, there we go. Okay. Use the uh, transmogrifier on that. I attach these here. Now, all I need is a spare length of wiring. I got that too, brother. The bits are not long enough. I need a longer piece of wiring. Longer? What the hell's wrong with you? Um, oh, what about those uh, wires where the bomb was? Maybe those wires work? Let's see. Um, now let's grab the wires and not get blown up. There we go. That's probably what it was. Okay. Oh yeah, that's way longer. Okay, I'm gonna save before I do this because there's another shootout and I don't wanna die. Um, save. save new game. Okay, use the long wire with this. <clears throat> the controls are set for just inside the bridge door, Captain. Mr. Spock, you're a genius. I wouldn't go that far, Jim. But I do have to congratulate you, Mr. Spock. Now we can really risk shooting our atoms around the universe. Is this really necessary, Jim? Analysis, Lieutenant Christensen. Security analysis, sir. If we transport onto the bridge, we'll have the drop on them. Assuming Mr. Spock has the transporter working properly. If we could get past the force field on the door of the bridge, we should be able to surprise them for sure. Since we have a bomb, Captain, we could rearm it, transport it onto the bridge, and perhaps the Elasi will flee into the hallway. Then we could capture them. And any hostages on the bridge will be killed when the bomb goes off. No, Jim. That's inhuman. To say nothing of the possible damage to the bridge controls. Yeah, no, let's just beam in, dude. When this operation is complete, Captain, we should have... Let's not look too far ahead. Okay, let's use... Transporter. Don't we just be... Do we just beam in? When this operation is complete... Let's not look... Um, this is just like their raid on death. There we go. He's going to beam us in. Yeah, we don't want to beam the bomb in because then it'll have a blow up the bridge. We appear inside the door. We also have to be prepared to use our uh, phasers and kill all the dudes inside the bridge there. Oh no, they got the red shirt. It's over, Seraph. 
Surrender and I'll guarantee the lie of freeze. Don't even think. Check and mate, Elasi. Don't do it. It's over, Seraph. Surrender and I'll get freeze. Don't even think. Check and mate, Elasi. Don't. I still have a gambit or two left, my friend. Low struck for freedom, Captain. Now I surrender. Yeah, you'll surrender, all right, bitch. Warning. Orbital decay detected. Warning. Lay down, bitch. Down a security team to the bridge. We have regained control. What did he do? He like fucked up the uh just fucked up the command. Orbital decay detected. Warning. Mr. Scott beam us out of here. Aye, Captain. I don't know what he did there. Message from Starfleet, Captain. On screen, Lieutenant. We have read your report on the problems of Baker Mayan. <laughs> what? 37%? 37%. You and your crew received zero commendation points. <laughs> Fuck you. Starfleet expects more of you than that. Try to do better on your next assignment. Try to hold a Federation starship captive. Can you believe it? Just a bitch. We just witnessed that very event, Doctor. I'm surprised you asked. It was a rhetorical question, Spock. That took quite a bit of organization to seize the starship. Think we'll see more of the Alasi pirates? Undoubtedly, Captain. I suspect they have considerable resources to draw. So do I. See who take us out of here. Chewie, get us out of here. Love's <laughs> labor jeopardized. All right. Priority message from Starfleet. On screen, Lieutenant. A raid across the Romulan neutral zone has placed Starfleet Research Station Arc 7 in jeopardy. Proceed immediately to Arc, Arc 7, 7 and determine the status of the station. Good luck, Jim. Where is Arc 7? Number 3. Okay. Got it. I want to make sure my shields are fully restored. There we go. Okay. Let's save here. And let's go options. Oops, not that. Let's go navigation. Sorry. Arc 7 was number 3. Yeah. So this is 2. This is nothing. This is. Oh no, 3 is this one. Okay. Wow, that is a shitty looking planet. Message from the Romulan ship, sir. Treachery. We are aware of Federation plans. Oh, fuck. They're arming weapons, Captain. Arming weapons. Shields. There we go. I, I, lo I love the Romulans, man. My main dude in, uh, in Star Trek Online is a Romulan. Fuck, we can't see him, dude. He's cloaked. Hmm. Oh, there he's back. Oh, that's like a small ass little warbird. Okay, where is he? The cool thing is, is you can still shoot him if you can find him. But even when he's cloaked. Let's go. See? Oh, where is he? Warp 10? Dude, nobody goes warp 10. That's that's too dangerous, man. You die. I think they can go they can only go like warp 5 or 4. In uh, the original series, I can't go past that yet. I don't think they've even. Oh no, my shields are yellow, so they have hit me. Where is this dude? Go faster.
Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Holy! Just blowing themselves up? Like to live my life dangerously. Captain, there is an auto beacon broadcasting from the station. Warning, warning. As per UFD regulation 342-18864.3, paragraph 3. This stage is fucking hard. Okay, first of all, five weapons offline, shields down, repair the shields. Um, Bylord, are you still in for UFC on Saturday night? I think DG, I think it's going to be me, DG, and you, unless some, anyone else wants to join in. Finny, Sean, if you guys want to watch, let me know. Um, we'll watch it. Watch it over Discord or something. Okay, let's uh, let's save because we got here without any trouble. Okay. Nothing, hey? Okay, well, let's beam aboard, I suppose. What does Spock say? Okay. Okay, let's save. And let's beam aboard. What is this one? Oh, this is like a, how what we've done. Okay. That sucks we got zero points from the last one. Trying to get your tired ass out of your out of the couch and roll a joint. Alright, let's beam. Let's beam aboard, bitch! Sorry. That was probably way too fucking loud. I keep forgetting the microphone's like right in my fucking face. <laughs> All right. The main computer banks of the Arc Seven. It looks like someone has recently been rummaging through the main data banks. Nothing unusual. Nothing to report, Captain. Nothing to report, Captain. To report, Captain. Okay. Spock, check out the station's computer and see what you can dig up. Dr. Marcus Lawton. Supplemental. Continued testing of the Ouroboros virus. The Ouroboros! This is what started Resident Evil 4. As soon as the spill has been cleaned up, we will sterilize both labs and purge the circulation system to make sure no traces of the virus will remain viable. Then all research files must be erased. We must leave no chance that this terrible accident will ever be repeated. Doctor, you may be interested in the medical data file appended to the log. Okay. It is bolted down. <laughs> Try and take it. Um. This computer terminal is linked into the station's main computer. It is cut. I got your log program. A Romulan bird of prey hovers menacingly on the view screen. This is a heavily secured door leading to another section of the station. Its access code has been breached. Okay. This is a standard door leading to another room on this deck. Um, okay. Can we walk? Okay, let's go in here then. This look like looks like the least lethal uh, room to go into. A device to accelerate neutrinos. Not much good for anything else. 
This device is used for the rapid reproduction of virus cultures in the presence of suspected anti-agents. This is a distillator used to isolate specific compounds from raw material. Oh, okay. Just the same this thing? Is a yeah. Used... This is a research lab with lots of expensive equipment. So they just blew up outside? Really? Check it out, dude. Stay safe. Dude, you're like the second person this week that had something blow up outside their fucking... Someone else watching, watching my stream. Hopefully it's not like a fucking meth lab or something. Um... This oh. Um, I guess I'll grab one. I don't know what the fuck. Should I even be going in there? You take the Ouroboros virus culture. Oh, okay. Damn, dude. Did you call the... Maybe call the police? Um, let's get, uh... Let's see what McCoy... Nothing happens. No? Can we use it in this? That nozzle is for anti-agents only, Jim. Oh, okay. Can we use it in this? Should we use it in this? Careful, Jim. That's a distillator, not a can opener. I don't know if I should have done that. Careful, Jim. Okay. Uh, let's use him on this. I certainly see nothing there calling for a ship stop. Oh, that's right, right, right. Sorry. Spock. A trigelium chew basic compound distillator. Excellent piece of equipment for reducing complex materials to the Okay. Um Let's go in here. <laughs> Calling the RCMP. Yeah, good idea, man. Okay. Let's grab that fucking wrench. We are totally yeah, brother. How's it going, Shoe? Stop, Doug. We're too high. Just Doug, picked up a large wrench, high. buddy. I'm high. He's high. <laughs> I'm so high. Damn it, Doug. We said we're high. We're too high, Doug. We can't help, Doug. We are too high. What do you want from us? We're too high to help we're you. We're stone. <laughs> All right, stay we're... safe, my lord. Doug, we're too high. Readings are normal. This is the engineering center for the Arc 7 space station. Okay. This is an engineering access panel allowing repairs to be made to the interior wiring in the equipment. Can we open that? Can I like just do this? You fail to obtain anything. What about this? You need something to try them. Okay, can I use the wrench? Apparently. <laughs> Open. Oh. You see vast quantities of dust and stripped insulation from wiring repairs made to the console in the past. I'm gonna take some if I can. You grab a handful of insulation. Okay, I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> That's the insulation? Hold on, that doesn't look that looks like wires, dude. Wiring repair jobs sometimes make a mess. This insulation was left over from someone who thought their repair is good enough. <laughs> Anyone know how? Um, so a guy, uh, Jojo in in my Discord says he's he's really liking the the Monster Rancher uh, remasters. Oh, nice. Uh, that's that's good to hear. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be like Cyberpunk. Tales of Arise looks really good. Um, let's see what he thinks. Oh, the station's fusion reactor. Very nice. What are we going to tour next? The ventilation system? McCoy's such a dick, but I love him. The fusion reactor doesn't seem to have been tampered with. I suggest we leave the controls as they are. Okay, good idea. What about this? Is this like a curtain or something? 
opens. Fucking scared me. Labeled M2 with its feed lines running deeper into the wall. The tank is large and heavy with its feed lines firmly attached. Okay, well, let's go to the next room. <laughs> oh no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is like a Romulan virus. Vulcans are like actually just Romulans in denial. I can't identify it without more information. Yeah, fuck. Spock's got it. Spock's sick. Okay. Um, let's open this. Whoops. You fail to obtain you fail to obtain No, not grab, dude. Open. I never, I generally don't follow, like, the, the video game awards, um, mainly because I don't play, like, a lot of new games. Okay, let's take that. You take the anti -grav unit. Okay, um... Nothing happens. Excellent. Nothing happens. Excellent. Um, hmm. This is an outstanding facility, Captain. Go bother Spock. This is the kind of place he likes. <laughs> this room is very defensible, Captain. If things get nasty, we may want to retreat to here. Okay, good idea. Okay, let's save in case we save fuck something up. Grabbing a oney and y'all are coming with the, me in your pocket. A oney? What is that? Oh, okay. They're tweeting about it. The only thing I usually care about is like if there's any trailers. Like, hopefully there's like a. I heard the Sonic Two movie trailer. That's the only reason I would probably watch it. A bat, a one hitter. Oh, okay. A one <laughs> I've never heard it called that before in my life. Okay, dude, I have no idea what to do here. Um, can I put the culture inside? I don't know if I should be doing this or not. Um, use this. Nothing happens. Okay, don't do that then. Um... Okay, let's grab this then. You retrieve the or The Ouroboros. Can I grab one of these beakers? Hmm. Let's see. I don't really know what the fuck this thing is. It looks like it looks like the thing that uh fucking uh Bill, Bill from fucking uh, Pokemon would have in his lab that mixes him and a Pokemon together or something. Okay. Hmm. See if there's anything we missed in this room. We could also see if there's something here. Hey, what's this? Where does this take me? Let's go in here. Oh, this literally takes me here. Okay, fuck. Um. Anything? Is this a room? No. Um, what if we use the Ouroboros on this laser looking thing? Nothing happens. Okay. Don't use the Ouroboros. Um, what if we use the insulation in here? That nozzle is for anti-agents, huh? What if we use it here? Nothing happens. What if we use it here? Hey, we did a thing! 
Guys, we got polybarrel carbonate. It's what I was afraid of, Jim. I think Spock is getting worse. Oh, that's not good. Because I like Spock. Um, shit. Means we gotta hurry the fuck up. This container contains polybarrel carbonate produced from insulation. Okay. What? Okay, I have an idea, but it's probably a bad one. I'm gonna put the container in here. I think it's just a container. And then, like, this should make water, probably, right? Because it's like H2, but it's H2O2. And then what if I... Okay, whatever. Let's let's see what happens if I do this. Nothing happens. No, nothing happens. Okay. What if we put this in that? Nothing happens. Okay, well, let's just grab this then. You take the Um... And we can't, like, put this... In that? No. You'd think the red shirts would eventually learn to leave the ship with a phaser rifle so they'd have a decent chance of surviving the mission? Yeah. My red shirt died in the last mission, but survived the first mission. How's it going, Tele42? Welcome to the stream. We're trying to trying to figure out what to do here. What's in is can we check in that little door? Um an RDAC one thousand. The last word in molecular replication, one of the most advanced pieces of scientific equipment ever constructed. It would take us several hours to get this machine working, Captain. I do not believe we will need it. The synthesis chamber should be able to give us what we need. Hmm. Okay. I don't wanna like fuck around. Hold on, let's go we can grab that one thing. But I don't want to, like, fuck around. Can we make, like, nitrous oxide? I don't know what we would do with that, though. So, we could use this on this to grab it, right? The anti-grab unit hums and emits the stink of ozone before it fails safe. The unit cannot lift something fastened to the body of the station. Oh, okay. Well, let's use the wrench. The tank detaches okay. I guess this made it easier to replace the tank every so often, eh, Captain? Okay, now let's use this. Have you ever played this one before, Tella? It sure beats hauling it around on our back, sir. Okay. Can I grab more polycarbonate? You grab a handful. Okay, good. I feel like I'm supposed to use that. I, I think it's a container, but I'm not really sure. Oh, what's my Digimon doing? The hell's he doing, man? He's just like pissed off at me or something? What the hell? Hold on a sec. Is he like hungry? Oh yeah, he's super hungry. Okay. Sorry guys. My Agumon is fucking pissed. There we go. We good. Uh, you know nothing of this game besides its title. Oh, okay. Um, okay, what was I going to do? I was going to try to put this in this again and see. Jeez, that fucking terrifies me. Um, okay. Oh, it just still shows this one. Um, okay, let's start making a backup save here. Save new game. 
Whoops. Whoa, I spelled that wrong. There we go. Okay. So... What we can do is unhook... Gas feed is on. Oh, it was off the whole goddamn time? Happens. Gas feed is oh, well, no wonder. Gas feed is on. Okay, now let's try. Okay, this is what I was trying to do before. Let's put this in here. And see what happens. Oh, it's doing something. The machine synthesizes one liter of TLTDH gas. Okay. An unusual compound, Captain. It can induce laughter and feelings of exhilaration in some, much the way nitrous oxide affects humans. It doesn't affect Balkans, of course. Actually, Doctor, both Romulans and Balkans suffer its effects. Oh, okay. Why, that's just dead. Balkan laughing gas. Please, Doctor, this is not a laughing matter. Seems as though it it, it is. <laughs> All right. So, oh, let's grab the let's grab the laughing gas. The Vulcan laughing gas. Container of TLTDH gas. Okay. Um. Yeah. This is. Okay, so now what if we put this in there now? Hey, get out of it. Go over here. Hold on a sec. Okay. Can we put this in there? And now what if we use this? The machine synthesizes a liter of pure water. A clean drink of water, but I don't see its application in the context of our difficulties, Captain. Didn't we put the fucking Ouroboros in there? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, let's grab the water anyways. You take a one liter container of pure water. Okay, um, hmm. Should we try making something out of the out of the laughing gas? I guess it doesn't hurt to try. This is the gas, right? It was red. And then just use this. Spock, stop dying, pal. The chamber is empty. What do you mean? The chamber is empty. I put a thing in there, bro. Can he use this? No. Hmm. We have to put something in there? Should I get some more, uh... Grab a handful of insulin. But they've gills. Okay, let's make another container. And let's put that in there. Oh, okay. So let's try laughing gas mixed with the virus culture. I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. And let's make it work. You take the Ouroboros virus. No, I'm trying to make it fucking work. Okay, hold on. 
This device is used for the rapid reproduction of virus cultures in the presence of suspected anti-agents. Hmm. Okay, let's take this out. Done. Um, how do we use this damn thing, dude? You take the Ouroboros virus. No, bro. I want to put that in there. Okay, let's put the virus... I think this is not... That nozzle is yeah, that's for anti-agents. And, and this is for... Viruses. How do we run the damn thing? I thought it was this. This is a research lab. This is a distillator used to isolate specific compounds from raw material. Hmm... A device to accelerate neutrinos. We gotta come up with a cure for this fucking thing, man. Um... Okay, let's try. Nothing happens. Gas feed is off. You attach the anti grav unit to the gas. Okay, let's try to attach the nitrous, maybe? Let's make like nitrous oxide. I don't know how smart this is. It's probably you terrible. The gas tank to the synthesizers. Probably a terrible fucking idea, but... <laughs> Gas feed is on. Okay. The machine synthesizes a liter of nitrous oxide. Isn't nitrous oxide explosive? Oh, that's... Okay. Do you mean to say it's undignified, Spock? It is, at the least, inappropriate for a starship crew on duty, Doctor. Isn't nitrous oxide, like, explosive, though, or not? Maybe not. You take a one-liter container of nitrous... Um... Gas feed is... Okay, whoops. Um, so this is the Vulcan laughing gas. This is the nitrous oxide. This is the water. Let's try to grab the oxygen tank. You attach the anti-grav unit to the... And attach the hydrogen. Nothing happens. Just do it. You install the gas tank to the... Okay. Turn it on. Gas feed is on. And do this. Still don't know what blew up outside, but you didn't see a fire or hear any sirens. The machine a liter of ammonia. I hope you don't want me to swap the deck with that, Captain. I think we can set this aside and not worry about it. Okay, so now we got ammonia. You take a one liter what if we mix the like the virus with the ammonia or something? I don't know how to use this damn machine though. Where's the? This is the ammonia. Hold on, let's double check. I, I'm pretty sure that's the ammonia. This blue gray container holds one liter. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Spock is thinking about chemical. But how do I use the damn machine? You take the oral board. No. Don't do that. Nothing happens. Okay, dude, you're in the way, pal. Wait, hold on. Okay, what if the virus has spread to me, Captain? I suggest you concentrate your efforts on the problem. Bro, I'm trying. What if we uh, put the ammonia in this? Careful, Jim. That's a distillator. Okay, it doesn't work. 
Fuck, how do we use this machine, dude? Um... There we go. But all I need to do is synthesize some more and we're in business. Drink the ammonia, that's how you win. Okay. You failed to obtain any Okay, so ammonia. What is this then? You retrieved the Ouroboros cure sample. Okay. So can we use it on Spock somehow? Can we mix it with like this? Here, you do something. No? Give it to him. Jim, we need to synthesize more to make our syrup before we can use it. How do we synthesize? This fucking Nothing thing? Happens. This fucking thing? Careful, Jim. That's uh a device to accelerate. This is a distillator used to um, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to make Romulan meth. <laughs> no, I'm trying to, uh... I gotta make a cure for this disease that's killing Spock and the Romulans on board. I don't know if this is a good idea. Belt. Oh, what is that? It looks like a needle or something. You take the hypo with Ouroboros toxin cure. Oh yeah, hypo spray. Okay, we're we're fucking getting somewhere now, boys. Let's cure Spock. There, you're now cured. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Finally, a human response. Raises an eyebrow. Can you use it on you? Something happens. I thought you were getting sick too. Okay, let's go into the other room. Dude, I think we're good to go here. Um, okay. I thought McCoy said he was getting sick too. Nothing happens. Is it like empty maybe? We have to make more? This is Dr. McCoy's cure for the Ouroboros toxin in a hypo. Oh, maybe McCoy was probably just being a dick, a dick hole. Save new game. Replace pre All right. So, I think the Romulans are down here. How do we, what's happening here? How do I go down? No, I wanna go down, you fuck. I wanna go down, you bitch. I don't suppose you'd enjoy the psychological release of a few good belly laughs, Spock? We could open the canister right here if you like. I would strongly recommend against it, Doctor. Okay. There's clearly a fucking ladder. Go down it. Do I have to use? Oh, I do. Fuck. Okay, there's Vulcans. Or not Vulcans, Romulans. Let's cure them. The Romulans stir weakly, then begin to get up. They've all been cured. They're severely dehydrated, but they'll live. We got, we got water. We got water, brother. The Romulans drink thirstily and empty the container. Take it easy now. You'll feel better in a few minutes. Good thing we have the water available, Jim. We are barbarians, in spite of what some people think. Look at that. They're in no condition to talk right now. What if we just... Should we set off the Romulan laughing gas? What happened? Your bomb blew my avatar into the star? Oh, really? Oh, I got it. Nice, thanks. Okay, which was the Romulan laughing gas? Hold on, hold on. Let's not fucking kill ourselves here. This container contains yeah, this is the Romulan laughing gas. Let's have a, let's have a party in here. This will cheer him up. That's not working, Jim. Oh. A loud hissing fills the room. You guys feel like talking now? God damn it. 
They don't even care. Okay, well, let's go in here. Oh, shit, there's another one. Uh, let's untie these guys first. Thank God it's you, Jim. I'm so glad this you guy, <laughs> This guy just ate shit. <laughs> Here you go, bud. The Romulan Preax stirs weakly, then begins to get up. He has been cured. He's severely dehydrated, but he'll live. He looks. Why do they call you Bones, Doctor? Because he's got a huge dick. And he loves to bone, baby. Okay, um. Oh no, they drank all the water. Alright, uh. I have called off the Romulan attack on this station, Kirk. You're just gonna have to have dry mouth for a bit, buddy. Some kind of deliberate attack. But your great honor and compassion have convinced me otherwise. You also conducted yourself in the most honorable fashion, Centurion Priax. You may return to Romulan space without Federation interference. Or... I assure you, the Federation would never undertake such a foul program. It was all... Uh-oh. Honor alert! No, keep that blonde chick tied up. <laughs> Fuck. Save it for someone who's buying Priax. Leave Federation space immediately or we'll scatter your atoms across the quadrant. Whoa. You also conducted yourself in the most... I assure you... I'll Federation do this on. Never under Absolutely. We've already destroyed all cultures and purged the data files. This will never happen again. You are an honorable adversary, Kirk. Jolon True. You are also a worthy opponent, Preax. May you live long and prosper. Spock raises an eyebrow. You'll never cease to amaze me, Jim. Goodbye, Carol. Goodbye, Jim. Well, gentlemen, let's go home. All right. Let's see what I got, what mark I get here. Hopefully better than the last mission. Last mission was like 30%. I got zero commendation points. Message from Starfleet. On screen with him. All right. Don't fuck me, Admiral. 77! Two com commendation points. Hell yeah. And your crew received two commendation points. Fuck yeah, yeah, brother. Keep up the good work. I wonder if I'll see Carol again. Well, if you don't, <laughs> you can always drown your sorrow in some Romulan ale. That's illegal, Bones. Tell that to the Romulans, Jim. I found a whole case. Ha ha! McCoy smuggling, smuggling Romulan ale on board? That is Walter's disguise. Oh my god. I fucking love Star Trek. All right, what are we on? Mission four already? Priority message from Starfleet. On screen, Lieutenant. We have reports of an undetermined number of Elasi pirate ships in the Oh, system. shit. You are ordered to proceed to the Harlequin star system immediately and investigate. Starfleet out. Fuck. More of the Elasi. Those are the guys that took that, uh... Let's go, main. Those are the guys that were uh, attacking, uh, that took over that other ship. Remember that ship earlier? Same pirates. The Elasi. Okay, where are we supposed to be going? I gotta take a leak here, guys. Harlequin Star System. Okay, just hold on. I, I gotta take a, a pissage, so I will be right back, you guys. You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. Wow. <laughs> Fucking pizzas. Okay, never mind. This is the uh, this is the best Castlevania game ever. <laughs> oh, oh my God, we beat it! Fuck you, Luca Blight! You piece of fucking shit! Me and the Green Ranger, man. Fuck it. Oh, that better be it. Fuck me, that was hard. Holy shit! Time to die. Did I just do it again? Did I just do it again? I did! Oh my god! <laughs> How the fuck do I keep doing that? I just beat it.
another hardest boss in the game with like one or two characters. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> oh my god! How many times am I gonna fuck this jump up, Mike? Place your bets. Place your bets. Alright, five. Alright, let's see. None bitches! Cause I'm the best around. And nothing ever gonna keep me down on the bird. <laughs> I'm trying to run and Sonic just keeps looking up. <laughs> Stop looking up! Oh, Sonic, move! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. And I couldn't jump the gap, so oh, I died again. That's so funny. Oh my god. You gotta like time your jump. Oh goodness. It's too fast. I think I'm stuck. Yeah, brother. Big black dag round dick. Sexy power go. This is the best gun. Fuck you. You are nothing to me now. Who's the bitch now? Is this whole room just a scare tactic? There's that like nothing actually in here? Holy fuck! Oh my god, that scared me so much! Oh my god, dude! I fucking died! What you guys up to tonight? Are you guys playing anything? Playing anything tonight or just fucking hanging out? One hand on the keyboard and the other on your cock. The way this stream is best enjoyed. Looks like he's beaten off in the fucking cockpit. He's like, we're approaching the canyon. Uh, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> I'll, catch, I'll catch up with you. You go on ahead. <laughs> so I have to... No way. Seriously, Berthier? Really? Like at the Game Awards? Hold on. I, I want to check this out. Welcome, how's it going tonight, dude? Um, hold on, I'll check game. Maybe it'll be on Game Informer. Let's see. For, oh, here we go, here we go. Star Trek Resurgence is a new Telltale-inspired adventure game. Well, look at that. It's like, uh, basically a game similar to the one we're playing right now. That's cool. They didn't show, like, a trailer or anything? Veterans from the Telltale Games. Okay. That's cool. That I hope it's good. I hope they, uh, hope they do a good job. Thanks for the info, dude. You're the best around. And nothing ever gonna keep you down. Okay, we gotta go to the Harlequin. The Harlot. Uh, number four, which is... Oh, we gotta open navigations first. Number four, there should be like two, and it will be this one. That's fucking cool, dude. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh. Message from the Alassi captain, sir. We'll show you what happens to those who come between us and our prey. Prepare to die. Weapons up. Shields up. Looks like there's fucking two of them, dude. There is. Oh, God. We might die. Oh, we're getting hit. Hold on. Fix shields, brother.
I don't know what that one's all about. Let's go for the other one. Yeah, that one fucked off. That one left. It ran away. Is this one running away too? Nope. Scotty, you fixing those shields, brother? Just hanging out. Oh, he must have fixed them a bit. Because our, our uh, screen's not all fucked up anymore. Oh no, one of our phaser banks is damaged. Scotty! Fix the phasers! Oh, he fixed it. Sweet. So some... Yeah, thanks, pal. Fuck, took out one of our torpedo bays. Fix the torpedoes, brother! Looks like it's fixed already. Man, he is the best. Oh, shit! Uh, fucking repair the hull. I can do with fucked up sensors. One of our phasers, phaser arrays is fucked. Oh, we got it, nice! Damn, brother. Yeah, that was a nice. Clean hit. We gotta fix the sensors. I can't see shit. Fix her up, Scotty. I can't see. <laughs> Oh. Holy, we are getting lit up, dude. Shields. Emergency power. I don't know how long she can take it, Captain. Oh, we can take her all night long, brother. We will be a okay. Come on! There we go. Oh, I, come on! I just hit him with two direct torpedoes. That would fuck anyone up. He must be right on top of us. Okay. Harrapin. Is that mud? Is that mud? Oh my god! No way! That's funny. Mud's basically a snake oil salesman. Okay, fix shit up. We took a lot of damage there. Prepare to meet your doom. Oh, hold on. We gotta center the ship or I'm gonna get go crazy here. Um, okay, we should be able to save. save new game. Okay. Uh, let's see. There were some bangers they announced today. Uh, yeah, let me know what was all announced.
uh, let me know in the in the old chatterino. The the main thing I was looking forward to was the uh, the uh, Sonic Two, Sonic the Hedgehog Two uh, movie trailer. Okay, um, where should we go then? Harapon. Okay, where is that? Harapan system. Harapan number five. Oh, it's like right next to this one. Okay, hall looks like it's repaired. I don't want. Yeah, our shields are fucked. I'm gonna let him repair repair the shields for a second. I finally added some sound effects uh, to the the, the Digivice uh, channel points thing. Speaking of which, I left my I left my D3 upstairs, but I can run and grab it. Um. Okay, dude, how long do these shields take to repair? Raising shields. Okay, they look they look much better. Shields, Everything else looks good. Um, weapons online. Weapons are all functioning. Okay. All right. Let's go. I didn't want to go there if uh, if our weapons were gonna be all fucked up. Um, we want to go here. It's like the nearest star system. What is that? Some kind of space station. Star base. Oh, there! Finally, our shields are repaired. Okay. Um. The Harapan system is viral, with an intron pulsar in the vicinity causing difficulties with our sensor readings. I was able to trace Mud's transmission to this derelict. So, our friend Harry is on board, no doubt. Can you tell me anything about the derelict vessel? There are six major subdivisions within the hull. All systems are down. There is, however, limited atmospheric integrity. The environment appears to be the result of a temporary saber ship life support generator, not exactly a reliable model, Captain. We'll be hailed by Mr. Mudd, sir. Captain, you came I'm touched. Harry, I have to be touched in the head to have anything to do with it. Holy yeah. How's your lovely wife, Stella? That was a dirty trick, Kirk. However, you'll be glad to know I let bygones be bygones. If the Enterprise will stand by, fend off any pirates, I'll just finish my salvage operation here and be out of your hair. Computer records document that you filed notice that there was no salvageable value here, and that the ship was a common passenger tug. Did I say no value? Minimal, Captain. Minimal. I meant nothing but promising when I filed the report. He's up to something. I would say your judgment is never perfect, Harry. Perhaps we should beam over and judge the situation for ourselves. Ah, that isn't necessary, Kirk. Yeah, I can handle I mean... Harry, relax. We're old friends. We'll understand that things aren't picked up and looking neat. Kirk out. We're going down there. I would very much like to see this alien ship, but the prospect of dealing with hardcore Fendel Mud again... This would be a good place to save so that if shit goes down. Save new game. Replace. Main save. Alright, let's uh let's beam down there. Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the car. It's mud. Welcome, Captain Kirk. So glad you're here. The Elazi have been terrible trouble to me. Well, you're terrible trouble to me, Harry. Tell me what this is all about. <laughs> I happened upon this ship not long ago, dutifully registered as salvage, mind you. In the hold here, I discovered one of these devices in that box over there. When I tried one on a wall, it floated off the grease and dirt. Perfect for cleaning, near as I could see. I peddled a few of these Mud's Miracle Degrimers, and everything was going perfectly well. Then something went wrong, right? <laughs> Actually, no, Doctor, not then. I'd started offering a few other little items I found. Mud's Limited Coffee Substitute. 
A great little specialty item. Uh -huh. Lenses to affirm packaging, build your own telescope kits, and the collection of novelty paints, things like that. All of a sudden, the Alazi pirates are asking for me in every quadrant, wanting to know where I'm getting my goods. I see, Harry. Well, we'll look around here while the Enterprise remains close by. Look around all you like, Captain, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. I've registered this derelict as my salvage, and I don't want you running off with all my prizes. Harry, as official representatives of the Federation and of Starfleet, we recognize your rights to legitimate salvage. Need I say more? I understand perfectly, Captain. You carry on, Captain. Bylord, did you ever find out what that explosion was? Save new game. Replace. Okay. Kirk, my friend, when have I ever given you the slightest bit of trouble? There was the time that you tried to come and view the Enterprise to sell live to miners. <laughs> then there was the time you stole the Enterprise to exchange us for androids who were holding you prisoner. Perhaps there have been a few minor misunderstandings. Don't push your luck, Harry. Harry's basically like your slime ball used car salesman type. Snake oil seller. There are shiny multi-sided spherical objects in this box. Let's scan it with the tricorder. These are computer memory transfer media, probably designed for use with the alien computer system. What's this? A small energy device with a flanged opening at the front, about the size of one's thumbnail. What is he working on? Nothing to report, Cap. Nothing to report, Cap. Let's see. Nothing to report. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take stuff. Done. You already have that. I'm gonna take this too. Done. Fuck yo, salvage, bitch. All right, what do we got? Shiny dodecagons as long as one's hand, highly reflected, shimmering with the prismatic rainbow look of oil on water. One of Mud's miracle degrimers. What if we use? Oh, we can't use that on that. I figured just because it looked like it was like oil on water, maybe it would be. You know. What is this? He's looking at this container holds bricks of what might have been pre-processed food oh. a long time ago okay well let's check can we go like this way if not we can definitely go that's like definitely okay this is a place what is this place What's all this shit? An unusual matter, antimatter engine. Oh, okay. As one would expect, Mr. Mark has sealed the hatch with his personal code. We cannot enter his ship. Oh, that's his I ship. I suspect that's a blessing in disguise, Mr. Spock. This seems to be a crane of some sort, Captain. Currently, no power is running to it. Okay. To report. Uh, I don't think I can use the crane, right? No. Um. Nothing happens. Okay. Is there anything over here? Anything over here? And what this? Okay. 
A save a ship emergency life support generator generally... Evidently, Mr. Mark was unwilling to pay the price for a reliable salvage model. <laughs> Tall, transparent columns run through the ceiling. Energy crackles in between the dojecahedrons inside them. So I think those are what are, what's like powering the place. So let's go. There's one more room we gotta check out. Is this the same game where a snake can wreck you? No, that's the NES one. The NES one is like supposed to be an NES port of this game, but it's so terrible. And it almost has nothing in common. Okay, let's scan. Unique, Captain. I believe these are self referencing packed quantum cartridges. Power boosters. Oh, I've read about those, but they're just theoretical. Evidently, these are more than theoretical, Lieutenant Hubert. The energy initially released is infinitesimally small, but boosts itself until the power finally released is comparable to our photon torpedoes. The technical journals discussing the possibilities indicated it would create a weapon of greater range than those we have now, if not a greater punch. The machinery to deliver these cartridges would be an engineering feat as well, Captain. I mean, this is another one of those cranes. Be part of the loading system for the weapon. It is also... Oh, this one's fully functional. Okay. A weapons delivery system. It appears to be an accessory tied directly to the alien equivalent of our ship's phasers. Yeah, this one's the DOS one, yeah. Yeah, this is the the main the one. The control panel has power running to it, Captain. Nothing to report. There's another area yet. Nothing to report, Captain. Okay. Can't use that. This is much too heavy. There is nothing at the moment for me to do. There is nothing at the moment. Okay, let's go through here. I feel like we would be safe save to save. Game. Replace delete previous game. Cancel save new game. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. Save new game. Replace previous. There we go. Okay, let's go through here. Yeah, it's really good. The space battles are super fun too. Okay, let's scan it with the tricorder. Nothing to report. What do you mean nothing to report? Nothing to report. This seems to be the main monitoring station for the beds. Above it is some sort of dispensary. Oh, what beds? You look but see nothing of note. Okay, did we you look but Did see we come nothing. from there or there? I think we came from there, so that means we still have other areas. Um, let's use this. We won't be able to operate any of this equipment unless we can learn more about the oh, okay. Jim. Well, let's go in here and see what happens. Dude, this ship is fucking crazy. You see a plain gray screen. A control console from which operators run the ship. Okay. You look but see nothing of no Okay, let's scan this. Evidently the aliens bridge their centralized control. A closer look may provide more information. Bro, you just scanned it with this tricorder. What closer of a look can Let's you stop. get? Come take a look at this. Oh, okay. This is evidently the main bridge. What do you make of it? This is clearly the control center for the ship, Captain. I cannot deduce much information, but I do observe two things. What's that? Go on, Mr. Spock. This station definitely is configured differently from the one beside me. This shouldn't be surprising. After all, there are two stations. That may be, Doctor. But if you'll recall, all the Enterprise's different stations link into the same computer network bank. And what else can you determine at this stage, Mr. Spock? These people have a fixation for the number six and even divisors and multiplicands thereof. Threes and twelves in particular. I believe this may be the necessary first clue to understanding the... Okay. Love six as well as threes and twelves. Mr. 
Mr. Spock, come take a look at this. This station definitely. Okay, let's see. We have done quite well so far, Captain. In spite of Harry and Bud. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Where is that little angel? Yeah, he's probably up to something. We should uh We should go back. <laughs> <laughs> It makes sense why everything. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, I, c -c Captain! <gasps> what have you done, you idiot? Jim, that doesn't look good at all. Harry, let me take a look at you and check whether that had some deleterious effect. No, you're all space idiots. Oh, he's freaking out. His head spun all the way around. You'll mind control me. Kidnap my children. Dissect my dog. If we can get him on one of the beds and get it active, I think he can be cured. Otherwise, he's likely to become increasingly violent. Stay away from me. I'm just going to stun him. I don't think the phaser will have the usual effect, Captain. We'll have to think of something else. Yeah. I feel faster, smarter. Wait, why wouldn't the phaser work? Man, this is like way ahead of its time. I know you for what you really I'll tell the whole world and then where will you be? Why can't I use I don't think the phaser Yeah, I know you for what What should we use if we can't use the phaser? Um, oh, I know. Let's get Spock to Vulcan neck pinch the bastard. <laughs> Dude, I called it. <laughs> That's awesome. All yours now. Okay. Oh, fuck. What do you mean there's a fucking guy right there, you dickhead? Okay. Uh this is McCoy, right? I need to understand more about the aliens before I can make this bed and its instrumentation function. Well check that out then. I certainly see nothing there calling for a ship's doctor. You said you could fucking cure him if we Nothing to report. Okay, oh let's scan uh hold on, let's scan the fluid here. Scan with a medical tricorder. There's nothing there requiring a ship. What are you talking about? Okay, um. You look but see nothing of note. Fine, I'll, I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna touch it. You fail to obtain. Okay, what about. It would be interesting to analyze them back aboard the Enterprise, but these are probably vaccines, medicines, and research viruses. Do they pose any threat to us, Doctor? None seems likely to have any effect on human or Vulcan physiology. To be on the safe side, though, I wouldn't recommend taking a snootful from one of the capsules. Start snorting them. Nothing to report, Captain. The hell, man. He said he could beam them, or he said he could uh, help them. Just Jim, is Harry Mudd a divine punishment for anything we did wrong? I can't think of anything we did that was that bad. <laughs> you looked troubled, Captain. Sorry if I was bothering you. I was just silently cursing the day I met Harry Mudd. What is the lieutenant? Captain, count your blessings. We haven't met any salt vampires or deranged computers, blood draining clouds, cell imploding sirens, Greek gods, or or any of the other things that people keep telling me about in security. There's not much I wouldn't do to not have to deal with mud. Okay, let's just look at him, I guess. Harcourt Fenton Mudd, three of the most prominent psychologists in the galaxy became famous by publishing case studies in sociopathy about him. <laughs> hmm. We won't be able to operate any of this equipment. What the heck are we supposed to do here? K 
Okay, let's go back. <clears throat> I probably should have did the backup save. Okay. Let's do the backup save. There we go. Um... The Spock, yeah. See what you can find out about that. What did we do? The device has finished loading, Captain. Uh, I feel like we just like loaded a fucking torpedo into this thing. A weapons delivery system. It appears to be an accessory tied direct. Okay. I don't know if we should have done that. An elaborate piece of alien. Um. What's this shit? The room reminds you of the weapons room of some old style warships from the early days of Starfaring. Okay. These cylinders have fallen down from the rest. That sounds safe. Wait, what? Arcord sent Mud. Of course, he's going to be honest and fair with you. Didn't we just see Mud get all fucked up? Eric, my friend. There was the time that you tried. Perhaps the head will push your luck out. Hmm. Gotta find a way to help that guy. Nothing happens. Dust and grease lifts off the surface, leaving this item clean as new. Oh, I wonder if we could use that on the uh on the guy, like maybe that, whatever that oil is that's spattered on him, maybe we can use that item on him. Um, what about this little fucking thing? You look but see nothing of He's still out though, hey? There's nothing there required. Okay, let's see if uh Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. Uh oh. Uh, should we like beam out of here? That's not good. I need to understand more about the aliens before I can make this bed. Okay, let me see. I do have a guide on here. Let's see what we're missing here. What episode is this? This is. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Okay. So I missed a lens, apparently. There should be a lens in the first room. Where the hell... 
I don't even see where that would be. Whoops. Oh, probably here. Something lit up. Or was it just this, maybe? You fail to obtain it. Okay, let's see what it is, though. You look but see nothing of <laughs> Why is it highlighted, then? Okay, let's use this. Nothing to report, Captain. All right, you alcoholic bastard. Um, is this the lenses, maybe? Done. Oh, what did I get? Yep, there's the lens, right? That looks like a lens. These lenses about the size of one's thumbnail magnify. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Save new game. Replace previous. Okay. Um. Use the lens on the degrimer. Oh, okay. These two things fit together like they were. Mm, okay. I'm gonna save. Save new replace. Pre okay. Then head north. Okay. Okay. Use them on the purple one. I believe, Captain, that this weapon must be hooked up to the main weapon's battery. However, I've already examined the weapon's console. And the main weapon's battery on this ship was completely destroyed in the action, which made her a derelict. Mr. Scott would have to go over this thoroughly, but I would recommend we try to take this weapon with us to the Enterprise. I don't think we should tinker with technology we don't understand, Spock, and I'm surprised you'd suggest such a thing. Yeah, I might go with I that. I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. I don't think we should tinker with technology we don't understand. Oh, yeah, let's hail the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Yeah, that's no good. I believe, Captain. However, I've already examined the weapons console. And the main Mr. Scott would... I don't think we should tinker with tech... Okay, yeah. I agree. I don't think we should fuck with this. We don't know what it is. Um... He's already done that. Okay, um... Pick up a repair tool. Oh, okay. I missed that completely. Where's the repair tool? I don't see nothing like that, dude. You fail to obtain any. Hmm. Oh, is that? God, whatever it is, I think. Hold on, let's go look so we can see what it is. A multi-purpose Ah, okay, okay, okay. Save new game replace. Okay. Uh, let's to find a database room. Oh, what? I can go this way? There's another room yet we didn't even explore. Do you think if I inject protein powder and milk into your rib, it'll heal faster? Uh, no. Okay, this is new. This is new. Okay, let's start scanning shit. Whoops. This platform contains the control console for the ship's computer library. Data may be accessed by using this console. Should use it, probably, then. Uh... Apparently an information data screen. Something like the display readers on the Enterprise. Okay. Um, Spock, use this. 
this seems to activate the ship's computer bank control node. Given the alien's predilection for multiples of three, it may be possible to use our tricorders to decipher the information carried in these data banks. That would be quite a find, Jim. This is an alien race unknown to us, and they are certain to have knowledge new to us. Were the universal translator available, this would be simple. With the Enterprise out of range, that's not an option, Mr. Spock. What else can you do? I believe if Dr. McCoy and I conjoin our two tricorders, we may be able to process enough sample data to get a basic understanding of the alien's computer system. This will completely tie up both our tricorders for an extended amount of time, however. Oh. How about snorting crushed up? Oh, that'll do it. That'll that'll in instantly heal. You gotta you gotta stir the vitamin D with the milk, and snort the milk. That's what you gotta do. That's the cure all for uh, rib injuries. I read it on the uh, internet. Uh, use your small dodecagon on the sphere. Oh, okay. I never would have thought of that. That way we don't use up our tricorders. You can't seem to make this. What about on this one? Nothing happens. What about on this? Nothing happens. Stupid lying guide. Um. Oh. Okay. Let's use the tricorder on it now. Nothing to report. Oh, they're using. It. Okay. Okay. Tricorders are not the equal of the universal translator, but we should be able to retrieve basic information and get an insight into their culture and life systems. I don't believe we could have gotten even this far had we not deduced their fixation on base six mathematics and aesthetics. These mafkas love the number three. Tricorders are again it's my favorite number. Use. The alien ship's computer data is now accessible from the ship's library. I believe I have downloaded enough information to our tricorders to enable nice. our to the ship's controls, Captain. Save new game. Replace previous. Okay, so it's said to use this on it. I don't know. You download major portions of the alien library onto the yellow spheroid. Okay. Can we whoops. Can you just use this now? Not all topics will necessarily be available, Captain. Nor do I believe we can get full details on all data. The tricorders could only do so much processing. It would be worth our effort to locate the central data banks for delivery to the Corniforos Life Sciences University, I believe. To say nothing of fulfilling our mandate to seek out new life and new civilizations. I'm receiving data now, Captain. Most internal and external functions are controlled from the bridge. These include engineering, navigation, communications, and sensors. Weapons functions are controlled from the weapons room. I have found an entry on an experimental long-range weapon booster mm. installed, named the Wyo's weapon. It does not alter the power of the primary weapon systems, but it does increase the range at which those weapons are effective. I believe I can produce a picture of a member of their race, Captain. No way. Oh, look at that. Look at their physiology, Jim. I think this explains the Lachean's fascination with threes. Yeah, they got six eyes. It should be no surprise that physiology affects mind and behavior. I would say a six-fingered, six-eyed people would naturally develop their sciences and arts around base six numerical systems, just as I observed on the bridge. Medical knowledge is comprehensive and lifespan has extended considerably over archaic expectations with maintenance of quality of life. Interesting data here about the six-eyed vision processing in the brain. Their eyesight must have been excellent and almost 300 degrees around. Nice. You look but see nothing of note. I see a freaking alien lady, if that's not of note. Dodecahedron, yeah, dude. Mulk. <laughs> Save new game. Reflect. Okay, let's head to the bridge then, I suppose. There's nothing in here we can grab. Oh, there's a Frick dude, there's so many doors. Is this the this is the bridge? Okay, hold on. 
what does this one lead to then? This goes back to the weapons room, maybe? Or is this a new room, too? No, this is the weapons room. Okay. All right, let's go to the bridge. I don't know if I should have loaded that fucking missile thing in there, dude. That's a little sketchy, I must say. Um, we could try scanning him now. There's nothing there requiring a ship's. What do you mean? He's like fucking dead, dude. Okay, Spock, use this thing. I fail to see the logic in that action. Hit that one then. I fail to see. All right. Well. Jim, these look like the capsules we might use in a hypo. I wouldn't recommend experimenting with them, though. Alien physiology or not, you can never be sure what unusual chemicals will do to the human body. Now I just start shooting up, see what happens. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Okay, maybe now he can use these properly or something. Oh, look at that. This is the secondary station. With the limited understanding we now have of the library computer data, these controls can now be activated. Available are sensors, navigation, engineering, done, sensors. The Enterprise is in combat with a number of elastic no! ships half a parsec toward the neutron star sector. I read debris identifiable with the pirates, but they continue to harass the Enterprise. Sensors, navigation. The computer reports this ship is incapable of navigating anywhere at all without major repairs. We are definitely dead in space until the Enterprise returns, Captain. Sensors, navigation, engineering. The engine pods are damaged but still generating power, Captain. Sensors, done. I wonder if we have to like shoot that torpedo at the uh the pirates. I can't make him use this one. Oh, here we go. Thanks to the library computer data, limited though it is, these primary controls give me access to communications. View screen. Done. Communication. Scotty, report. The Arashi pirates have been driven off Captain. Oh, okay. The local star seems to be acting up. Will there be a problem with the transporter? We can do it, Captain. No problem. At least right now, but the situation is only going to get worse. Are you ready to beam over now? No, we want to look around some more. We'll call you on this channel when we're ready. Yes, bring us home, Mr. No. no, I need to have a word with Harry Mutt before. No, we want to look around some more. We'll yeah, look around first. Thanks to the library. Communications. View screen. I guess the universe looks about like it did the last time we saw it. Communications. <laughs> okay. Done. Um, yeah, let's just beam the fuck out of here, maybe. I don't know. Thanks to the library. Communications. New developments, Mr. Scott? The neutron star is causing more and more problems, Captain. Yeah, let's beam later, the fuck. Scott. Let's beam Very the well, fuck bring over. Us home, Mr. Scott. No, I need later, Mr. Scott. Very well, bring us home, Mr. Scott. Yeah, let's get out of here while we can. If the star is going, like, fucking supernova or something, we won't be able to beam out later. We have read your report on the problems at Harris... 66%! One commendation point, baby. And your crew received one commendation point. A satisfactory performance, Captain. But there's still room for improvement. I'd like to strap Mud to a photon torpedo boat. While you were away, Captain, I made some travel arrangements that I thought you would approve of. Travel arrangements? I think you'll be happy to know that I've arranged for Stella Mud to meet her long lost husband on Starbase 7, sir. Approved, Lieutenant. Take us out of here, <laughs> Nice! Alright, another mission down, dude. Captain's log, Stardate 5097.3. Starfleet reports major military activity in the Klingon sector near Fakir, a planet on the edge of Klingon space. Intelligence indicates that the Klingons are mobilizing a large fleet to search for a renegade who is responsible for a disruption of unknown nature on that planet. 
Federation sensors have found a faint energy trail leading to the planet Xam-4 in the Digifile system. We have been ordered by Starfleet to track down the source of the energy and discover what happened on Prakul before the Klingon fleet enters Federation space. If we are not successful, the Federation and the Klingon Empire may find themselves at war once again. All right. This feels like a good place to save it. Save new game. Replace. And uh, let's see if we can get ourselves into like a, a bad ship battle to end the to end the stream. Let's just get wrecked. Uh, so let's just pick a random star system. <laughs> Usually, if you go to like the wrong system, you end up in a fight. Yeah. We're gonna get fucked up. Damage control standing by, sir. <laughs> Message from the Romulan commander, sir. On screen, Lieutenant. Enterprise, you are in violation of Romulan space. My orders are specific. Unauthorized Federation vessels are to be destroyed. Arming weapons. Bring it in, bitch. Oh, he's running away. Fix shields, brother. All right, where's the damn Romulan ship? Oh, there he is. Oh, that was a good hit. He hit our torpedoes, though. Nice! Oh, nice! We got a bunch of bonus hits. Come on, Scotty. Fix the fucking shields, dude. Our front shields are all fucked up. That's what she said last time. Fuck him up, Chuck. <laughs> Where the hell? Hold still. Hold still and let me shoot you. Dude, that should... Oh! We got so many good hits in. That should kill him, man. Because when they're cloaked, they can't use their... Uh... They can't use their... Uh... They can't use their fucking shields when they're cloaked. So realistically, I mean, that should absolutely decimate them. Hitting them with a torpedo when they're cloaked? Or what? No, maybe they can use their shields. I think they just can't use their weapons. I can't remember how that works. Either way, we've done some decent damage. Oh, he repaired the front uh, shields. He repaired the hull, too. Let's go back to shields. Hull's, hull's good to go. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought I saw another ship. We can go full view screen too, but then I can't see the radar. <laughs> oh, he's back. Our hull took some damage. Fix the hull. Our shields are doing much better. Did we take him out? Is he done? Orders are to proceed to the digital system. Oh, she won't open. Okay. Hold on. Prepare the hull, dude. I don't know, did we blow it up? 
We might have blown it up. I don't see it anymore. So either we blew it up or it bitched out. Yeah, I think we got it, man. Alright. I don't know if I should... Let's take weapons off. Yeah, let's take weapons off. I'm not taking my shields down. Alright. Thank you guys for coming out. I uh, hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, this game's pretty good. Um, what mission did we just finish? Was that mission four? So we've got... Let me see. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, seven. So we got three more missions. So we should be able to finish this on... Sunday night and then we'll move on to its sequel judgment rights, which is apparently even better But yeah, I've been enjoying the hell out of this game Anyways guys, uh, if you enjoyed the stream and you haven't yet, please remember to click that heart show me some love Give me a follow here on twitch twitch.tv slash dookie03 um, You can also check out my youtube channel youtube.com slash dookie03 um, For my top 10 videos reviews and of course our podcast uh, join the Luminaries of the Livestream Facebook group to check out our streaming schedules as well as some dank ass memes. And of course the best place to stay in touch is the motherfucking Discord. Um, let me see if there's anybody online. We can send a raid or Rooney over somewhere. Uh, let me see. Kame's playing some Euro Trucker. So let's do that. See you on Saturday. Yes, yes. Anyone who wants to uh, uh, watch UFC on Saturday, let me know in the Discord. We'll get something figured out here. Um, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream, and I'll just wait for this raid timer to uh, expire, and then I will uh, see you guys on Sunday. I'll be back, I guess, Saturday morning with some match Super Metroid. I'm going to have to try and figure out how we're doing that because my switch is way over there and I don't want to re-unhook everything and re-hook it up. So I might somehow hook my switch up to my computer monitor or something like that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and I'll see you on Saturday and or Sunday.